Welcome back to another episode of Weekend Ready with Luke yes. and Meg. Let's go. Second episode. Oh, that was crisp. People thought we'd quit, but we're back. We're back because veterans now. Some people listened. So thank you for the people who listened. Yes, we were unsure if this podcast was going to have any listeners. Uh, people did. People, they listened. So which means the pressure's on this episode because we know we have a somewhat listenership. Some of them, yeah. In saying that, Luke, set the mood. What are we doing today? Are we uh, winding up, turning down? So if you didn't tune in Wait, last week. if I you fucked that up. What did you what? just say? I said winding up or turning down. And that's, that's we oh, literally God. have two words on the thing. There's, <laughs> well, I could have said up, turn or down, uh, up, up, down, turn, wind. <laughs> which... I'm saying that I could have fucked it up more. <laughs> Would you like me to do the words for this episode? Yes, please. Yeah, Meg's going to be miming the rest yeah. of the episode. <laughs> Can someone give her subtitles in post? <laughs> someone translate Meg? <laughs> All right. So uh, if you didn't tune in to episode uh, one, we have this big spinning wheel here. Think the price is right. Scale it back down. <laughs> and whatever. I'm just trying to give audio. Take listeners. it back down to around 2% and that's what we're doing here. Yeah, this is 2% price is right wheel. Uh, we have turn up, wind down because we want to know what mindset we're all heading into the weekend with. I'm he- happy to go either. I don't really know what's on this weekend. Who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Last week was a wind down episode. I am looking for a turn up. Which was a bit of a letdown. Yeah, it's a little bit of a letdown. I'm, I'm looking for a turn up. All right. Can I spin it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast, fast, fast. Ooh, yeah, that was a good spin. Ooh, I've always wanted to do that. Eee, what is it gonna be on line? Let's turn it up. Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh my god, let's Oh! Yes! Dude! I can't do it! I can't do it! Your one's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Can we I was like it's not working? <laughs> That's right, I think we turned up enough. Oh, damn. Oh. I got some confetti water. Yes, and it's over oh. your side. Does that mean I don't have to clean it up? Yes. Perfect. Great. Damn, my one didn't even um. go off. Oh, that's a bit of fun. We are turning up for the weekend. Very excited about this. First turn up episode. <laughs> Ten seconds before the bang of the confetti must have been so confusing for an audio listener. <laughs> just we're, like, we're turning up and we're both like... <laughs> and then you just cheer up. It that was. was really loud. The neighbours probably think there's been a murder. <laughs> <laughs> um, our neighbour's actually a cop and we didn't tell him we were we had bought a confetti cannon. He's probably freaking out right now. Yeah, he probably thinks there's a gun next door. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're turning up for the weekend. That's a good because I kind of was ready for a big episode. Winding down's fun. I love relaxing. No, I love a relax. But, but I, was, I, was, I was ready for that confetti cannon and I'm really disappointed that mine didn't Put these up. on. I thought you were about to do it. <laughs> I thought you had the confetti cannon. <laughs> I thought you were going to shoot me in the face. I was like, oh my God. Put these on, they're turning up. Let's right. go. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. So, um, welcome. <laughs> this is how you turn up. Yeah, you this just, is how I turn up. You put your feet up. That's a wind one down foot, position. One foot. Thank you very much. You did that okay. last week when it said wind down. No, I did two feet last week. And I leaned back like this. That's true. Right, very, very different when you got the one leg up because that's confidence, baby. This is how I that turn up. That is confidence. Oh, <laughs> he spread. Oh, damn boy, he's thick. What Dude, about- your, your nut looks like it's going to pop. <laughs> <laughs> Man looks like that's he's going to burst. We do have a bold situation Bruh. happening. And just because we don't have a HR uh, department, I'm going to um What do you mean? It. I'm clearly the HR department and I say... Bulge away. Bulge away, sir. Bulge away. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. Oh, yay. Yes. And love is in the air. Uh, what have you, you got me? Come on. What have I got you? Well, oh, you really put me on the spot there. That's all right. We don't usually do Valentine's Day. I usually get you like a bucket wow. of chicken from KFC and you're really happy with that. That's Yeah. I'm also happy with that. Perfect. Yeah. yeah I feel like. We're a KFC couple. We. <laughs> That's not like the way I'd identify us. <laughs> like, yeah, we're just like a Kentucky Fried couple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we used to be more of a Kentucky Fried couple, and then they we're certainly not a mixed couple. Fucked up the 
I hate McDonald's. Oh yeah, no, I'm McDonald's is a no. It's a it's a no yeah. for me. No, we don't usually do Valentine's Day. Well, we live together. I don't really understand like romance, <laughs> love, <laughs> like uh, impressing women, <laughs> all of the above. I don't know. It sounds like you're slamming me. <laughs> no, I don't know why you're with me. I, mean, I guess it's kind of a slam on you. You know, Phoebe was asking us before the show. She's like, oh, like, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? And we're both like, well, I don't know. It's like a work day. Can you say that again? Can you please say? What did I say? Say it again. Say the day again. What day is it? Valentine's Day. Oh what did I say? You said Valentine's Day like oh. three times. You're like, Val- yeah, four times. Oh, okay. What the hell are you going on here? Yeah, You're yeah. like, Valentine's Day, yes. Valentine's. Yeah, right. Well, you can't um, even fucking say it, so. No, I'm not, <laughs> not interested in the day. I really, I'm a Grinch around most holidays. Holidays. All holidays. No. You don't like Halloween because there's too many kids running around. No, it's American and I was brought up to um, uh, to to be racist against Americans. You you left out. You really said that. Sure, I left too too much of a pause. Too much of a gap. (laughs) It's funny that (laughs) who's brought up to be racist? Full stop. Imagine if someone's like phone just died. Like then they're like Jesus. I was brought up to be a racist. A racist was the wrong term. (laughs) I shouldn't have used that. I meant I was taught to embrace. Australian traditions over American traditions. Yeah. My parents are lovely. Um, but <laughs> no, like the term that's American crap was used a lot while describing Halloween in yeah. our family. Yeah, it just right. wasn't encouraged. Yeah. No, nah, I was out there every Halloween with a sheet over my head going, ooh, give me candy. <laughs> <laughs> now who's the racist? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, man, cheat enough, are we? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, guys, I would just like to formally hand in my resignation. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know how I'd take it if my, say, you know, say one day we had kids, right? You would be, and they were like, oh, we'd love to celebrate Halloween. Yeah. I wouldn't stop it. I'm not going to poo-poo fun. Well, no, and I, I, would even, the lollies. I would even participate in it. Yeah. But there'd be a little part of me that's like, this isn't my values. These aren't good, good, honest Australian. I sound like Bob Catter. These aren't. <laughs> <laughs> these aren't. <laughs> God, we're doing a good job here to be. Wow. Busy. Wow. But yeah, I don't know if I would get around it. Like, I don't know. I get around. We have good stuff in Australia. Like what? Your Grand final day is the best day of the year. And like hottest one hundred countdown day is always fun. That's good. that just happened. Uh, it was great. I mean, it doesn't even matter as... what you think about the the countdown. It's just the day of the tradition with friends mm. is fun. Mm. But it, I guess it just depends what you do. Christmas, I like the day. Yeah, it's the busy time of year, and that stresses me out. Yeah, I don't like Christmas period. I don't like the obligations. Yeah, I like Christmas. Though. Yeah, Christmas is fun. Yeah, I Easter. Guess. Probably the goaded holiday. Chocolate. Because nothing happens. A bit of chalky. I love it. You know, the first, so actually talking about when we like, you know, Valentine's Day and when we got together and stuff, um, this was one thing that Luke opened my eyes to because I didn't really have chocolate as a kid in the house. And I remember walking by one of the sections in, in Woolies and I was like, Oh man, it wasn't Easter yet, but you know how they always have just the eggs straight after Christmas, first thing. Yeah, there's already hot cross buns. There's hot cross buns, there's there's heaps of bunnies and stuff around. I was like, oh man, I can't wait for Easter. I'm so excited. I love, I love a chalky bunny. And you're like, why don't you just get one then? And I was like, (laughs) why don't we just get one? It's not Easter yet. What is this guy on? And he's like, no, you can, you can do that because you've got your own money and you can buy, you can buy it. A chocolate. Megan oh, yeah. never actually had that thought. Yeah, before I, I told never her had that. that. I was like, "Oh yeah, I, I do have my." I, she had I a full time job. Yeah, and she looked at a bunny and was like, "Well, I would have to call my mum." Or I don't know what you were thinking. I don't know. I just was like, oh, "I can't have that before Easter." I was yeah, like, you didn't really have like junk food at home. Uh-huh. And I remember the first no, day no. You came round to mine. There was like Anzac cookies. Oh god, those in our cupboard. They were good at yeah. And we were just. She was like, "Oh, would I be have have an Anzac cookie?" I was like, "Yeah." Okay, yeah. Like, I didn't really consider that junk food. And, and you then, were like, yeah, have as many cookies as you want. I'm like, well, I was like oh, I'm ha- not going crazy yeah, here. I was like, okay, I'm just I have two. Cookie. And you're like, oh, I couldn't have two. And I was like, oh, man, 
If, if you could, if you wanted to. That's like if, wild. Oh. That's wild. Well, it's not wild to me anymore. I mean, I have literally, I eat out of the jar of Nutella now. So that's what you've because started. Because I wasn't deprived growing up. Yeah. I had access to cookies, so there I don't want cookies. So I'm like, I already, I know what cookies taste like. Like There's so many people that would disagree with you even if they had last access night to I had cookies. one chocolate. I was like, oh, I could go some chocolate. And I just went to the chocolate tin that we had, the tin of roses. Yeah. I grabbed one chocolate and I ate it and I was like, I only, Ugh. Yeah, I, I only had one as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, had five. yeah. I know. I pulled out all the wrappers out the couch crevice. <laughs> Because he didn't even clean it up. You left That's evidence. That's how you dox me. You're <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, I put my finger down the couch and I felt like 10 yeah. different rappers. God uh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, you left evidence. But anyway, it's coming up. Uh, we, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. We, our date nights, a lot of people ask us, I think, because we're like maybe a couple that people just know of, mm. right? So they're like, oh, what do you two do for Valentine's Day? Like anyone should be looking to us Man, for advice. He keeps saying it. Valentine's. Um, Valentine, do I? You keep yeah. saying Valentine. Yeah, but I just, for someone who talks for a living, I'm awful <laughs> at English. <laughs> this is not news. Like if anyone listened to my, any of my, you know, yeah. past podcasts, yeah. get used to it. If you're new, <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're not doing words properly yet. Meg can't even, you can't even I say can't them even in the right order. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, but people often come to us for advice which I don't know why. Yeah. People are often like, oh, what should me and my partner do for Valentine's Day? Or, oh, I got this new girl I like, Luke, what should I do? Yeah. Um, so we thought, it's, considering it's like the Valentine's Day episode, it's happening uh, this week or yeah. next week, we should give you some advice leading into the big day. Yeah. So you've got a piece of advice for relationships. I've got a piece of advice. Would you like to share first? Um. Yeah. I've just forgot what my piece of advice was. <laughs> I reckon I did a 30-second lead-in to that. I was literally, like, giving you time to get on your phone. I just wrote in my notes my advice. <laughs> you didn't write down the advice? I was just like, yeah, I remember that because I remember there was, like, a story that led into it and now I'm like, fuck. Great. What was the story? Well, I don't know what your advice was because you said, no, nah, trust me, I've got this. Yeah, I know. I All right, well, I wrote down just fart is funny. Because <laughs> people always say you can't fart in relationships and it's no, genuinely was, like, do you fart around Chad and Reese? Oh, sometimes. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Oh, it's And so people funny. like say like there's this, this period in yeah. the relationship where you shouldn't. You know, I would actually hold off on the poo for a while. You know, one of, my, one of my closest friends... Yeah who is now married to obviously her, her partner and stuff, who's yeah. been, I reckon it's been like almost 10 years, mm -hmm. I reckon they've been together. They've got two kids together. She has never farted in front of him, nor is has she ever done a poo while he's in the house. Is this I wasn't going to dox her name, but uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to be like, come straight out and say the name. I didn't think that was relevant. Well, I, yes. I think she'd be proud of that. That's a great stat. Yeah. She, what do you mean she's never done a poo when he's in the house? They live together. Yeah, I know. So she waits till he goes to work. What? And then I know. She waits till he goes to work and then she waits till the kids are out. What's she doing on the weekends? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she doesn't shit for two days. Call her. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I want an answer. I want more details of this by next week. That's incredible. I remember what my advice is now. This is probably super relatable to a lot of um, people, like this exact story, because I'm no doubt it's happened heaps. Um, basically, make sure you turn your phone on, particularly during emergency situations. I had to go to the hospital while I was in Perth because I had a oh. inf infection. <laughs> should I say? <laughs> I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up. Can I preface I this story with? I'm aware of this is not a good look for me <laughs> and it was an honest mistake and I feel genuinely awful about it and I think about it sometimes when I'm like in the car by myself. <laughs> and we can laugh about it now. Oh, I haven't got time, to that stage. <laughs> no, not so much, but now we can laugh about okay, it. Okay, so I had to go to the hospital for 
uh, infection was pretty bad, very sick. Uh, and basically when I went in, I was like, Luke, go, go home, get some rest. I'm going to be here for a while. So Luke was like, no worries. Um, and when he got home, he sent me a text saying, I'm going to go to bed, but I'm going to keep my phone on. So when you need to get up, because this place that we were staying in, you needed a key card, like card to like tap in so that the doors could open. To even get into or, like the hotel off the street, you needed to tap your little phone. Yeah. Or the person who was already inside had to tap like the button. Yeah. So I needed help getting in. And he was like, yeah, no, 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 that's okay. I'm going to put my phone on off silent. Like you can call me and I'll be like straight there. And I was like, thank you so much. But might I add, this is in like the roughest hospital in Perth. So there was like, there was a guy trying to like stab one of the nurses. And so I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here stat. And also the doctors were like, you need to get the fuck out of here stat. Like leave basically. So I was like, no worries. I'll go home. It was like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Yeah, I left at probably like 2.30, yeah. 3. I reckon you left Oh, like so four. it would have been like 4. Yeah. So this was about 4 a.m. And the doctor, before she discharges me, goes, you're very sick. So you need to make sure that you are going directly from the hospital straight back to your house. Is your partner there? Like, can he help you get in? And I was like, yes, my partner's amazing. He's going to be there for me. I'll be fine. She's like, okay, are you sure? Because you still got a fever. And I was like, yes. Are you telling you how reliable I am? I was telling you, yes. I was really. He's a man of his word. Yes. He'll definitely leave his phone on. Yes, yes. So I, <laughs> I get home and I'm like, okay, I'm going to call Luke. So I call him. No answer. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. Maybe he just like missed it. And so I call him again. Oh. Okay, he's not picking up. That's all right. I'll text him. So I text him. I'm like, hey, uh, just letting you know I'm at the front. I uh, don't know if your ring is on, but maybe this will get through. And he doesn't pick up. I call him another six times. <laughs> he still doesn't pick up. And so now I'm panicking because I'm like, I'm really hungry. And the thing that I had was like there was an urgency that I needed to be inside for. And so... I just went, got some food, came back, and I'm like, okay, surely he's going to be up now. This is about 5.30, 6 a.m. No, I, I think I woke up at like 5.45. Yeah, okay. No, so I think you're at the at the for an hour. That's what I was about. out there for an hour, yeah. So, and it was cold, by the way. There was one day in Perth that yeah. was actually cold, and so I was cold outside. I was shivery. And so I'm calling him like furiously now and I'm like sending the, the worst text I'm like I hope you feel terrible when you wake all up and caps. see this all caps all caps like, I hope you, you feel terrible I hope you feel terrible I'm like I'm saying the by the way stuff. can confirm that doesn't make you feel good no and I'm saying <laughs> really mean things I was being so horrible I was being really mean because I was in so much pain and so angry and I knew and then I realized meanwhile I was like, I'm having a hell of a good snooze yeah <laughs> He's well, earned, by the way, place. I've waited around with the hospital fucking for six hours. So, he's, in, you know. he's in a deep state of, of bliss while I'm dying outside. And so at that stage, uh, there's like cops going by the street and stuff because there's a lot of homelessness on this street. Yeah, and I so, ran home from the hospital at 3 a.m. and I got chased by crackheads up Yeah, the so there was a lot of crackheads. So I was like kind of scared, right? But they I was parked up. Running. The way that it had, I was parked up. <laughs> on this wall in a corner because it was like a little bit of shade from the wind. I had my like massive oversized jacket on. I was like huddling like this. And then there was this guy. I hear this guy coming down the street and he's screaming. He's like, ah, oh, you fucking doll, you fucking bad. And I get out the street. And then he starts barking at people on their way to work. He's like, hey, hey, hey. and so I'm like, oh, my God, this guy's going to come up to me and he's going to like. I had something's gonna happen. I was terrified. Just bark and so back. he he walks up and he looks at me and he goes, Good morning. And then he keeps walking and he starts barking at the people down the street. So I'm like, oh my god, he thinks I'm one of them. Yeah. Cause I just look at him and I'm like, Good morning. Yeah, because you didn't have, <laughs> you like, didn't have, a, have a home. Yeah, I was like, blend in. Yeah. Blend in. I'm one of them. And so I was like, oh, I'll go for a walk down the street, see what other friends I can make. And I made friends with all the homeless people. Yeah, see, I ran like, past a bunch of homeless morning. people with AirPods on and they fucking chased me up the <laughs> 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 They were 
Not fit. Not enough nutrition. Anyway, if you're thinking, oh, Luke. <laughs> hey, man, they were bad at running. Not my fault. I didn't even try. I was jogging. I, I got like two blocks ahead of these. This guy <laughs> ran after me. I looked around once. And at one point, the first time I was like, oh, I feel threatened. And then I jogged for I was like, I'm just not going to slow down. I just <laughs> kept the same jog. And I looked back about and again. I smoked out. him. I reckon he followed me for about 200 metres and he didn't have it in him. Right. Well, so now you're probably <laughs> thinking, oh, Luke obviously woke up and let you in because you got inside. No. <laughs> He didn't wake up. Uh, I had to – basically some guy was coming out on his way to work and I was like, oh, my God, hey, I'm so sorry. My partner's actually locked me out. I don't have the key card. Could you just let me in and then I can run upstairs? And the guy was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. So he let me in. I storm upstairs. I'm like bashing on the She's door. She's in a great like, mood, by the way. I'm in a great mood, fantastic <laughs> mood. I'm like, let me in. Let me in. And he's like, what? What? And he opens the door and he's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, I was like, how did you get up? You fu- I was like, fucking. <laughs> and then I checked my phone when I got back to the bed and it turns out, which I didn't think was possible. I hadn't put my AirPods back in the case <laughs> and I'd left my phone on loud mode, but my phone was still connected to my Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> so whenever it was ringing, it was ringing inside the Bluetooth headphones, which I didn't have in my ears. So every single message, it wasn't vibrating either for some reason. Yeah. So it was just going, every like single message notification I got was going oh, through my AirPods. But as soon as I got warm, I was fine. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry for sending you all of that. I was, I was really in a, it. I was in a heated mood then. I yeah. knew that once I got warm. Tell you what, Meg got a pretty nice boyfriend for a week after that. That's for sure. I was, uh, <laughs> I was like, do you need anything else? She's like, no, get over this. I'm like, I will not. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was rough. So, yeah. I feel um, really bad about that. I would like to say I'm sorry again. Well, moral of the story, that's okay, by the way. Moral of the story is uh, keep your phones on. Yeah. Keep your phones on. Yeah, well, you never pick up your phone, so. No, well, I mean. <laughs> uh, so, I guess we're even then. Perfect. Yeah, we're, All we're right. even. All right. We're even. Glad that's sorted. <laughs> yeah. Um, Valentine's Day is at, we got bored up. <laughs> My God, again. we need Don't a tally. Time. We need a tally. But it, but in my in my like in my head, it just sounds like I'm saying Valentine. Valentine is very different. to Yeah, Valentine. but I just I'm I'm in a rush to get it out. I don't want to stay on the word for too long. And you guys are now I, pulling me back to it. Never have I ever heard someone say I need to rush out the word Valentine. Oh, we do not have all day here, Meg. We're, we're already what, halfway through the end. Here we are actually. Yes. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Meg, before we continue on with the rest of the episode, how can people support this show if they would like to? Well, if you want to support the show, you can either, you can go onto our Patreon. We've got two tiers. We've got a $5 tier. And that gets you the bonus week ready episodes out every Monday. So if one episode of Luke and Meg's just not enough for you, if that doesn't fully satisfy you personally i think anyone will be satisfied with one episode a week i'm throwing them a second episode i think that's at a reasonable size and length of episode personally but (laughs) if that's what you tell yourself luke yeah um (laughs) you can get the extra episode uh and if you're on the 15 dollars tier you get access to behind the scenes content the our discord community which is a lot of fun yeah uh, and definitely Having a resurgence at the moment, mad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It, a little bit. The Discord went a bit quiet for a hot minute. Yeah, it's definitely not quiet anymore. I feel like it's coming back. Yeah. And uh, it also gets you the discount code for all of February for the leftover. Cheers to that merch. Yes, so we've got a discount code in there. If you want it, it's only for our $15 tier members. Um, so if you're wanting to cop some discounted merch, get onto that Patreon tier. There's like tier. less than like 100 jumpers left from the tour. I don't think there's any T-shirts left. There's some stubby coolers is there no. there's not there's not much left i don't know what's yeah left. yeah so we we want to offer that limited stock to our patreon members right oh also if you wouldn't mind while listening to this if you have two seconds if you're not that busy could you rate us on itunes yes leave a five star yeah you know, don't leave a stinking review that doesn't help at all if you're no. thinking about leaving a stinking review eat shit yeah don't that's mean go suck on a chode <laughs> All right. (laughs) 
<laughs> Most podcasts encourage their listeners to like leave a good review. We're just like, we don't really if you, care if you leave a good one. Whatever you do, just don't leave a stinker. Believe. <laughs> Thank you for the people who have sent us in more stuff of the doppelganger. So last week we uh, got people to send from our Discord pictures of themselves. Oh, and to our well, Instagram page, pictures of themselves for us to basically uh, give them a doppelganger. Uh, we, we were, it was a bloodbath. Yeah. Let's just say that yeah. I tried to launch this segment cause I had thought people deserve a doppelganger. I get likened to people all the time cause I'm a boring white dude and people tell me I look like various types of mainly sex pests and murderers, but lots of people, actors sometimes yeah. always stoked. So one time someone said Henry Cavill and I still think about it to this day. A lot Whenever of- I watch Man of Steel, I'm like, yeah, they were right. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, right, right oh, down to the physique. Yeah, like Superman <laughs> if he got completely injected with kryptonite. Yeah, Superman if he ate kryptonite. Um, <laughs> he guzzled it. Anyway, it was a bloodbath. It turned into a roast, but people still sent in their photos, pitch, their photos and which, said, no, we want a doppelganger. Please give me one. And we did specify that you must be up for a light roasting to be a part of this segment. Yes. Last week was not light, so let's try no. and keep it light. Yeah. Okay, let's keep it fun. This one got sent in by Jaden. Now, if you're an audio listener, feel free to switch over to the YouTube or just truck on through and imagine. Uh, Jaden is a young guy. He's got a hair part, long hair. I, I looked at this straight away and I just thought it was Jackson. Fair I Bar. So when they sent that through, I was like, I didn't know Jackson was a part of our, our chat. Yeah. That's, it, that's just Jackson Fairbaum with slightly darker hair. And yep. Phoebe had a good one for him. It looks like, wasn't Zach? Zach from the Gilmore Girls, which if you oh. understand that. Oh, good, he does. Good to know Meg was listening in the planning meeting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's does. like, oh, I was busy not writing my advice down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, excuse me, sir. I did write my advice. It is literally my advice. Yes. Uh, so that's Jaden. Jaden, you look like either Zach from Gilmore Girls or Jackson, Jackson Fairbairn. I hope that you're okay with that. Jackson's a good looking dude. Yeah. Uh, this next one was spent, uh, sent in by Spencer, a uh, member of our Discord. He's a good looking unit, old Spencer. Mm, now, I he, reckon- he said the kids at his school... Uh, I'm assuming he's, uh, he does after school care, have taken to calling me Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. I think that's a I... injustice to Spencer because I was leaning towards Ryan Gosling. Oh. Leaning towards. I we was going to say Miles Teller if he was like an e-boy. Yeah. On TikTok. Like if Miles Teller just did this. Ah. Yeah, right. That's... E-boy Miles Teller. He yeah. kind of does look like one of those like uh, – yeah, American hype house dudes. <laughs> I just realised that the audio listeners of that wouldn't have obviously seen the move, the TikTok move that I did. So all they're going to know is I just went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would be, envision exactly what Dean you just Lewis? did. Dean Lewis. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's whatever. Phoebe is so yeah. much better Phoebe's at this because really Phoebe at- actually goes, who does this person look like? Yeah. I didn't want to say the original one I thought of. Well, actually, I kind of just thought when he f- – when these were sent into our group chat in a row. I just thought it looked like Jackson and Lachlan Fairbarn. Yeah. It just looked like the Fairbarn brothers together. He kind of has like yeah. blondie, sandy hair. So, yeah, Spencer, I reckon you look actually the most like Dean Lewis probably. There was also one more, which I'll do really quickly. I think Liam, who sent in a photo, which we yeah. put up, I think he looks like the um, chef from Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Yeah, he does. I think he looks like the chef yep. from Ratatouille. When he has a cold, like at a little bit point, of a nose. At one point, do you just, nose? you know, accept that and, you know, befriend a rat? Because I think Liam's very close to that. Looks wise. <laughs> Why are we all saying like that was so offensive? <laughs> Why was I that even know. mean? I don't know. We're all looking at me like I, I just know. said the meanest thing ever. Last week I said someone looked like Augustus Gloop had a glow up, but no one said <laughs> shit. And I was like, oh, Liam should befriend a rat. <laughs> and everyone was like, whoa, Lukey, <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> Reese look, look, looked uh, at me like I just shot someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. My glasses are getting a bit loose there. <laughs> you pulled out your shoulder. God, I'm hanging out with the kings and queens of overreactions in this room right now. Legs, <laughs> glasses mean? fall off. She's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was just like, it's loose. She's loose. All right, that was a sign, your doppelganger. Uh, keep sending him in. Let us know if you're enjoying the segment. Uh, we understand it is Everyone's very visual. Like, we fucking hate it. Please stop. <laughs> it's the only Please current stop. running segment. I'm ha- <laughs> I also thought there could be spin offs of this segment uh, called, like, where we assign people nicknames. Oh. Like, if they just tell us a little bit of about themselves. Yeah. And maybe their name or even surname would help, I guess. Yeah. Um, or just like one of their hobbies. And if they're like, because I've never been nicknamed. You've Everyone never just, been cool. nicknamed. Well, I've my, had like 25 nicknames in my life. My dad used to get called Kidge in his footy days because like at the footy club, short for Kidgel. Yeah. Luke is a one syllable name. Oh, you, I didn't get, I used to get called, that's so, I used to your just Your name's get, Meg. No. How do you shorten that? No, no, no. Me- I used to get called, so like. It started like in swimming when I was like six years old. I got really bad chicken pox and like I got really bad scars from it. So everyone was calling me Chicky. And then Matt, my now, who was my. Oh my <laughs> yeah, Chicky. And then. <laughs> Nicknames are never and then, that nice. And then Matt, who was my coach at the time, who is now my brother in law. <laughs> Which is fucking crazy in itself. He then was like, nah, fuck this. I'm going to call her Chicken Wing. And he still calls me Chicken Wing. And it's so bad because he he never used to be like, oh, ch- hey, Chicken Wing. I would be at like a swimming meet. And for those who don't know, when you're about to dive in the pool, everything goes quiet and then they do the buzzer. Everything would go quiet and you'd just hear, Chicken Wing! And it would be like, beep, and I'd have to dive in the pool. And I'd be like, what the fuck? (laughs) That is a really good heckle. I like it when people heckle in small moments like that. There was some, I watched the end of the tennis men's final the other night with Novak. And what's the other guy? How do you say the Greek guy's name? I don't really follow tennis. Anyway, it was a big long word on the screen and I wasn't (laughs) listening to the commentary. Anyway. Yeah. It was, you know, like they're like, quiet, please. Like yeah. just before they do nice. the serve and the whole stadium goes silent, which is weird. I've been to the that's, tennis. That's and what happens at the swimming. I have no impulse control and yeah. every part of me wants to go, hmm, tits, or like, <laughs> it's, you know, whatever, <laughs> just something. And clearly I'm not the only one because I was listening to it and like, you'd be like, quiet, please. And you see, come on, Novak, <laughs> just from the back. And then it's like, please be quiet. And then like some other guy from the other one's like, like you just heard a grunt and they're like, no, please be quiet. <laughs> they just can't help themselves. It's just that really? urge to be like, yeah. Oh, I could have watched that for half an hour. I didn't want the point to start. I was like, no, keep going. I just want just like fucking. They end up kicking everyone in the stadium yeah, out. Yeah, just dumbass <laughs> tennis, but it's across the crowd. and then It was great to watch. Just shit calls. That's why um, tennis goes for five hours because the crowd just screams for three. Yeah, but I had, I had heaps like Megara, Megatron, uh, Megalodon. Good. Uh, the Meg. My brother calls Shut you. Shut up, Meg. Megatron. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Less of a nickname, more of an insult. Um, when did Family Guy start doing that? Dude, that was early, early days. Early in your life? It was like season two or three that they started doing that. How old were you that. when that came into your life? I was really young. But yeah. I used to, we used to be a Family Guy family. So we would watch that. I, I. As soon as it became a thing, that was. Old men used to walk up to me and say, I am your father. And sometimes I used to just, uh, just Daddy? clap. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I used to just not know how what to do. But sometimes I'm like, ha yeah, because Star Wars. And then because <laughs> Luke Skywalker is like the only famous Luke. There's another really old movie called Cool Hand Luke where a guy eats a bunch of eggs in jail. And that's all I know. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what it's about, but there's a scene where he eats a bunch of eggs. Anyway, it's like old men reference it to me. Like, you're like cool hand Luke. And I'm like, I have never heard of this movie, but my dad <laughs> knows really it. Funny. Yeah. And Luke Skywalker is the only other famous Luke. So you men always just go, shh, shh, Luke. Like at the athletics club all the time. I reckon there's a. It's a weird. And I just used to sometimes point to my dad and be like, oh, no, he's actually over there. I think leukemia was a good one when you shaved your head. <laughs> yeah. I did shave my head in year 12 and all my friends call me Luke Kemia. Yeah, one did, 
through Tyler. You- <laughs> <laughs> and I, I still rate that as some fine nicknaming. That was good. That's you know good. why I shaved my head? Because uh, this is how, like, I don't know, it's how dumb I am. I, someone was like, you wouldn't. And I was just like, it would be so funny if I just came to the next day with a shaved head. You were just that committed to the bit. Yeah. Because I was, it started on Central Australia trip and then they're like, you're not shaving it there. And we couldn't really find clippers and stuff. Yeah. And it was like, oh. So then the day we came back, we're on the bus. It's like a 10 hour trip home from Adelaide. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, you, you don't have to shave your head now because we're not on the trip. And then I think Stefan, one of our mates, was like, you wouldn't shave your head. And then I just went home that night and just shaved my what head. What did your mum say when you came out with a shaved head? Oh, I think she just thought it was funny because I told her why. <laughs> Legend. Shaz dog. Let's go. I've she been was the one who shit actually. For this haircut. Uh, look, mom said I the don't same think, thing. I don't think you're copping shit. I think it's just different. Like you thinned out the your fringe and so you just look um, cleaner. <laughs> we went out after we shot the special in yeah. Brisbane and one guy was like, Oi, Luke, the comedian. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, you look weird. <laughs> he goes, isn't, he's looking at me and he's like, your hair, what happened? And I was like, I got a haircut. And he's like, huh. And then he just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> but he was from Brisbane. So I think that's just how they communicate there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it kind of grunts. It's just like a then, series of grunts and yeah. confusion. Yeah. So maybe, maybe he was trying to compliment me. That was I don't a great, know. Yeah. That's a compliment. Maybe that means Brisbanian. like, Brisbanian. yeah. Bris- Pardon me, Brisbanian? friend. <laughs> I don't know where to translate to Translate to directly, but um, mm. anyway, I can't judge. I can't even say Valentine. So you said it then. Good job, buddy. You're learning. Thank you. He's learning, everybody. You know what? Thank for you. Luke. I <laughs> <laughs> I took my time with it. I'm just like, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> what um, were we talking about again? We were talking about doppelgangers, we and then I think tangent. we went on a tangent. We managed to end up here. So thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, let us know if you'd like us to give it. Maybe next time. Keep sending in your doppelgangers if yes. you're enjoying the segment. Um, but it is very visual. We understand that. Yeah. But send us in your nicknames. Oh, yeah. Because that we can mix it up. You know? Well, no, your names. Your oh, name, yeah. Yeah, not your nicknames. Like we want to we wanna come up with a nickname for True. you. So yeah. send in your names and then like maybe some interests and then we can come up. Everyone deserves the right to uh, have someone – liken them to someone else and also yeah. to have someone I think everyone deserves the right to be bullied is what I'm really getting at. <laughs> Whether it's through a nickname no or a physical safe. appearance thing. <laughs> Cause uh I've yeah. been fortunate enough to have it with myself. Yeah. Not yeah. nickname wise. I've never Oh leukemia. That's that's, that's a pretty great. good one. Well thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming back if you watched last week's and stayed through the whole thing, especially if you made it through the thirty eight minute mark. Yep. All right. Well, that's kind of like the tipping point. Luke, let's get fucking turned. Yep. Guys, have a good weekend. Make sure you turn up. Um, and we'll be getting turned. You will be getting turned. And this is how we get turned. Wow. Goodbye, it's everybody. It's going to be a big weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. I just thought it would be good for the Valentine's. You are still the one. Oh. I don't think I, <laughs> I, I, I don't think I know the lyrics. Did you say you are spin the one? <laughs> I think I said you have been the one or you are gonna be the I don't know what I said. You combine it. Alright. Goodbye everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, let's go. <laughs> one more for good measure. <laughs> Bye. Bye.